Welcome back. So I got a few raw cards, a few slabs, just a nice little variety of stuff to go over. Um, and basically all PC, obviously except for the top card, which was put as a filler in one of these packs. So obviously someone either had a bunch or busted some 11 update. Gee, I wonder what they were looking for. And they threw that card in, so whatever. But anyway, let's get to the actual cards that we wanted. Um, starting off, 19 High Tech, Kofax, number 25. We actually have quite a bit of the rainbow of this now, which is nice. This is actually my first um, jersey card of Kofax. Um, plenty of autos, but he doesn't have a whole lot of um, material cards. So it was quite nice to finally pick one up. And right after that, I found another one from Tier 1. So, a couple nice Kofax items in there. And then obviously we have some Greenberg. This is a, uh, basically a short print from the Play Ball set that was done many years ago. by Upper Deck in 2003. This is like a one in three or four box type of set. Or type of parallel. So summer 41 Hammer and Hank Greenberg. Next up from Cooperstown, the Armed Forces card number to 25 for Greenberg. So not have that parallel. Do not have this artist proof parallel. This one's number to 49. Have the other one, but not the numbered one until now. Another back card. This one numbered to 20. 11 of 20. This one is numbered 6 of 20. And then this is a slightly different version, numbered to 10. 7 of 10. So three more from 2020 Diamond Kings. And then there's this nice little piece here. These I rarely see listed. And this is a 99 cent auction win. This is E-Tops 2004. They didn't make a ton of these. Um... So I saw the Greenberg come up, I obviously started bidding on it, and shockingly enough, there's the only bidder on it. So for 99 cents, very nice addition to the Greenberg collection. So now we have a couple of random cards in here, or one random card. Bryson Stott, auto. Some good talk in Philly about him. So I figured I'd pick up an auto of his for cheap and add it to an order. Um, this is a nice Kofax. It's a little beat. Um, it's got pinholes. It's stained. It's Bell Brands. Um, 1961. And those just even in beater shape or, you know, have value. So, nice. I think it was an auction win on this as well. So, I I'd add by that. This was a very rare piece. This is the 1934 batter up for Moberg. It is beat to all heck. It is bent. It is punched. It is um, authentic at best, but they do not show up. Um, so as soon as I saw it, um, I actually debated a few days with it. Um, lost another card that I was watching from the same seller, but did manage to get this one. It's not cheap, but it's the last one I needed for to complete the Moberg run. So, that set's now done. I just have to send this out for slabbing. Um, this is just a fun one, inexpensive offer type of thing. 2017 Stadium Club Chrome Gold for Sandy Koufax. This is the Gold Refractor. The Pop One with one higher. This is a very nice card. This is a little bit more than some of the players I've been picking up, simply because it has Carl Hummel on it. 1941 double play at PSA 6 with Carl Hummel and Morris Arnovich. And that's the guy that I bought it for, not the Hummel. So, really nice example of the card. Sharp corners, clean. Um, so, nice add to the Arnovich collection. Now here's a couple of interesting ones. So we have 
I had a low grade uh, 40 play ball Berg. So now I have one in a four, which I got off of Facebook actually. Really clean, fantastic example for a four. And then I found one for a five, in a five. Also a very nice example. And then this I added to an order because it was cheap. It's wrinkled, it's beat up, but it's old. It's 62 postcard. Um, it's got writing on the back. Um, but it's a postcard I did not have for Kofax. So I figured I'd pick it up and just add it to the PC. Next up, obviously, most of, oh, not most, but a lot of my Mail day videos, there's usually been a fair amount of Greenberg items, especially autos. Um, so this is nice, immediately after his playing days, auto. What I liked with this one, yes, it's marked up and everything on the, this little cut. But the signature is clear. Um, and look at the back, it was cut from an envelope, it looks like. And it dates it to 1954. So you know exactly uh, the period when this was signed, which is quite nice. It's a 1954 Hank Greenberg Auto. And the last piece, so early Jewish players, one of the much, much earlier one is Barney Pelty, the Yiddish Kerber. And this is the T202 Hassan cigarettes from 1912. And he is with Wallace on this card. So you have the play in the middle, and then the two individual cards on each side. Complete, just fantastic. I found this, and it was actually quite a good deal. Because a lot of times you find the pieces, or when they are together, regardless of grade, they're usually quite a bit of money. So finding one for a reasonable price um, with one of the early Jewish players. I was very happy to pick this up and add it to the collection. So, that's all I got for you this time. I think that's enough. Um, there's quite a few pieces here. Um, and there's really some just absolutely fantastic items. I was very lucky to find, to, um, win bids on in some instances and in other instances to negotiate a reasonable price um, and there's really a lot of additions and there's only one card in this whole um, group and that would be that um, that wasn't PC um, so just absolutely fantastic additions incredibly happy with um, how the PC is progressing as I trim back the massive amount of cards that I still have. So that's what I got for you this time around. It was a pretty well-rounded mail day, I think. And until next time, please remember to collect what you enjoy, enjoy what you collect, and don't let anybody, especially the market or a YouTuber, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun. Have fun by being active in this community. So find your way of participating, whether it's making videos, watching, commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to your LCS with a local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your peace you'll grow, the more people you'll meet, and the more fantastic friendships you'll form. So I thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you again. Have a good one, and bye for now.